Father, I just um, give you this hour, and God, I thank you for the people that are even praying right now for you to come and bless Washington State and to have your way there, Lord God. You are such a good king and such a good God, such a good shepherd, and we want to see Washington State from the highest of powers and governmental leaders and business leaders and so many smart people that live there. Um, or to the to the newest, youngest baby, even those that are just brand new conceived. We just pray from the top all the way around, Lord God, that you would bring Washington State underneath your good leadership and underneath your peaceful kingdom. We just thank you that you're such a good king. And I pray that you would use this hour to bless Washington State, to bless your people there, to bless your will being done there, to cause um, to cause your spirit to just go forth and to topple powers that need to be toppled and to roust out enemies that need to be rousted out and to, to gently or fiercely awaken your people and equip them.
above all names, Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus till every dark addiction starts to break. Declaring there is hope and there is freedom, I speak Jesus. Go to the addicts. Oh, Jesus, you know where they are. You know where they have a business suit on and well manicured nails and big fat bank accounts, but they're addicted and it's got them. Oh, they have more in common with the addicted homeless man than they know. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, I speak your name. Oh, let addiction slip down under. Jesus, break the back of addiction, oh Jesus, even the addiction to power, the addiction to having our own way, Jesus, 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 Jesus. the Father to preserve us with your name. And I know you guys are tight and you've got the power and the willingness. You're in agreement and I come into agreement with you. Oh, may the name of Jesus preserve all that is good in Seattle and Washington State. Oh, Seattle, lose your hold on the rest of the state. We're not going to follow you. We're going to follow Jesus. We speak the name of Jesus over every power and principality trying to usurp your authority, Jesus. i 
your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, O Lord, cause there is no one like our God, we will praise you, praise you, there's no one like our God, we will sing, we will sing, there is no one like our God, we will praise you, praise you, no one like our God, we will sing, we will sing. Lord of all the earth, we shout your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, O oh Lord, at your name, the mountain shake and crumble, at your name. Oceans roar and tumble. At your name, angels will bow, the earth will rejoice, your people cry out. Lord of all the earth, we shout your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise. Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, O oh Lord. Lord of all the earth, we shout your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, O oh Lord, at your name, the morning breaks in glory, at your name, creation sings your story. At your name, angels will bow, the earth will rejoice, your people cry out. Lord of all the earth, we shout your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, O oh Lord. Lord of all the earth, we shout your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, O oh Lord, cause there is no one like our God, we will praise you, praise you, there's no one like our God, we will sing, we will sing, there is no one like our God, we will praise you. Shout your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise. Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, O oh Lord. When I was praying this morning, for Washington, a, a scripture came to mind, and I just want to read it. It's Psalm 121. So it's one of the songs of ascents. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, I love that you're the creator. I mean, every bit of matter, uh, all the soil, all the water, all the elements were created by you. <clears throat> I mean, when there wasn't anything, you created the earth. You, you created both heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He will not let your foot be moved. He will not let your foot be moved. 
He who keeps you will not slumber. God, I thank you that you are not asleep. I mean, even when you were asleep in the boat, you were fully aware of what's going on. God, even in times where we don't see or perceive you or, or what you're up to or what your presence is doing to preserve and keep us, you have not stopped. You have not stopped. You don't. You can't. You won't. The earth is yours and the fullness of it is yours. And we just, we just agree in prayer right now. You know, those who are standing with their feet on the ground in Washington, that the earth is yours. Washington's yours. It's not that we're going to make Washington be yours. We're just acknowledging that Washington has always been yours. And so we're inviting you as owner. Come. Come, king. Bring your, usher in your kingdom and your rule and your way. We, you're our king. It's you we want to have be the ruler. We, we don't do such a good job. Too much power warps us, but there is, all the power is on yours. All the power is yours and it doesn't warp you. You have no hidden ill motives or any weakness in you that will be warped or twisted by power. You're the only one, Lord God. First of all, you're the only one who's smart enough to wield it, but you're also the only one who actually is loving through and through, but you're also just. You, you know how to discipline and how to stop things that need to be stopped, Lord God. You're not, you're not going to let trouble and a decay go on forever. God, we, we just bring to bear the power of what you did, Jesus. Thank you. I, when you came, you were completely 100% obedient and you brought glory to the Father through your obedience. I just read about that this week. You brought glory to the Father. In John 17, you brought glory to the Father by obeying absolutely everything that he gave you to do. You are spotless. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely spotless and perfect. And we want to thank you that it's you that's our shepherd and it's you that we're coming underneath your covering. And we just, we just give over our will to you. We give over our desire for our way to you. We just yield. We just say, it's, it's your way we really need to have. And it's your way that ultimately we want. And so these little wild cravings and little wild clamorings to have our own way, Lord God, we ask you to just calm them and bring them down into submission underneath your will and underneath your presence and and we lift up washington state and i i you know i know it's cliche but i just kept thinking of washing just washing washing and washing and so i'm asking you for a washing god i'm asking you to wash washington we are all guilty we, but we're asking that the stains that are there and the wounds that are there, the blemishes that are there, Lord God, that today, right now, right now, anyone who is hearing this, that we agree together. I agree with every listener, everyone who is participating in your presence right now. We ask you right this moment and all the moments when this is heard that washing would be released onto Washington State because you're coming back for a bride that doesn't have a stain. <laughs> That's not only going to be in an instant. Yeah, it'll be an, there'll be things that happen in that final instant, but God, it's, we're in process right now of the stains being washed. And so we just pray, God, will you go to the depths of the stains that are in Washington, in the historic stains that are there, God, with the first people who came on the land. And, you know, God, I don't know. I know there is no perfect man but you. So even the First Nations have things that they need to be forgiven for and stains that need to be lifted up out, God. And of course, the Europeans that came in, I mean, that's, clear 
that we have stains that need to be lifted out of us and stains that we have released into society and into peoples. Lord, but you are the one, we can't clean up that mess. We can't get that stain out ourselves as sorry as we are. We cannot clean up the messes that we've made. And, and, and as regretful and remorseful as we are and truly repentant as we are, we cannot heal the wounds that we have or that we have inflicted. And so we invite you, King, because you provided for all of that. You foreknew all of that. And before man ever set foot in Washington State, you had already laid out the provision. You had already laid out the, the redemptive price for Washington State to get to be what you created her to be. And so we just, we just say, where does our help come from? It's not the government. It's not the church. It's you. It's you, Jesus. So it's, you know, you, maybe you in the government, you in the church, but it's you. It's ultimately you that, that are the one that, that paid the price. So we're lifting our eyes above all the, all the hills. We're lifting our eyes up above even the high places that we know of here on earth where we could go get help. And we're lifting our eyes to you. We're saying, you know, our real help comes from you who made heaven and earth. And we trust that you're not going to let our foot be moved and that you're keeping us, that you're not asleep. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. And so God, we, we want to thank you that you're our keeper. You're Washington State's keeper. You're Washington's shade at her right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil he will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. God, I want to thank you that you're the one that keeps us when we're coming in. When we're in shutdown states, when we're in confined conditions, when we don't have the freedom to go and do what we want to do, Lord, when we gotta know, and it feels like we can't uh, just move freely, you're our keeper. But you're our keeper when we go. You're our keeper when we expand borders. You're our keeper when we do new things. You're our keeper when we travel. Father, I want to thank you that you are preserving your people through the name of Jesus. I want to thank you that the name of Jesus is high above every other name. That when we lift our eyes to the hills and we lift our eyes above the hills, we're looking at the King of Kings seated in heavenly places at your right hand, Father. Oh, you're sitting there. You're rightly on the throne. Waiting for your enemies. Ah. To be made your footstool. So who's going to do that? 
Cause we know you already stripped him from power So Who's gonna put him down underneath your feet if it's not us? So we lift your name, oh Jesus We lift your name, oh Jesus, over our governor And we just say Oh, Jesus, let the power that's in that seat of government come down underneath your throne. Let the power of your cross that stripped the enemy of its power come upon the seat of government, Lord God. Oh, Jesus, Come and minister to our governor, Lord God. Whoever sits in that seat needs your help, Lord God, needs your mercy. No, you didn't come to condemn. You came to bring life. So we ask, oh God, will you get in there somehow? Will you get in, Lord God, find the chinks in the armor and slip in and bring influence, Lord God? Oh, soften the heart, oh God. Take out the heart of stone. Take out any remaining stone of the heart of the governmental leaders. Oh, Lord God, you can put a new heart in there that's soft, that's alive again, that's able to respond. Will you raise up workers, Lord God? Will you place your people strategically Will you cause them to be filled and ready, Lord God? Equipped and ready, Lord God. Oh, for those of you who are out in the hills, tending your sheep, oh mamas, doing dishes, doing laundry, Helping your kids learn the ways of the Lord. For you, Papas. Oh, for you, business women. For you, businessmen. For you, educators. You tending your sheep. Oh, lift up your eyes to the hills. Help is on the way. Ever present God is calling forth help from his heavenly resources. He knows just what you need. Oh, lift your eyes. Lift your voice, just speak the name of Jesus. Oh, he's so responsive. Oh, Lord God, I agree with you. We agree with you as your name is spoken. Oh, Lord God, doors are opened for provision to be released. Not just money, not just food, but provision of equipping, provision of weapons. And I just want to say we know that the weapons of our warfare are not like those that the government has. It's not guns and bullets. These kind of weapons that you give us are mighty through you to the pulling down of strongholds. And there's some strongholds that need to be pulled down. 
So I bless your people in Washington Oh, to rise up and just start taking the bricks out of the strongholds Don't worry if you've only got it in you to take one brick out Just take it out Just live the name of Jesus Say yes to the simple ideas you give us Cause the weapons that we have are not carnal but mighty through you So those simple ideas that you give us You anoint them to tear down strongholds It might be a letter, it might be a plate of cookies uh, It might be a play date standing watch at a playground and just saying your lord here the earth is yours this playground is yours all the people on it are yours this boardroom is yours this zoom call is yours all the people on it and the rooms that they're in are yours lord god whether they know it or not Oh, they're on a collision course, gonna collide with the King of Kings, with the Lord of Lords, with Almighty God. There's no person that will not collide with you at some point. We're asking that it would be sooner than later. See it to work. 
feel that you're working. You never stop, never stop working. You never stop, never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, never stop working. Never stop, never stop working.
nothing stays the same. Miracles, heaven is waiting. The mention of his name. Spirit is moving, burning like a flame. Healing the broken by the one we proclaim. Raising. This is how I fight my battles. 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 I'm wielding. I'm lifting the name of Jesus. This is how I fight my battles. I'm singing the name of Jesus. This is how I fight my battles. I'm trusting the name of Jesus. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. I'm trusting the name of Jesus. I'm climbing into the name of Jesus. This is how I fight my battles. The righteous run into the name of Jesus. This is how I fight my battles. Ah, the strong tower of the name of Jesus. This is how I fight my battles. I'm hiding in the name of Jesus. This is how I fight. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight. Face planting in you. This is how I fight my battles. Oh, I'm crying my broken heart into you. Oh, I'm praying my fears into you. I'm planting them there, Lord God. You're the one who can handle them. I'm just heaving them onto you. All the burdens in my heart. I'm just thrusting them forward into you. I'm saying, go ahead and take them, Lord God. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my Lord bless you and keep you, make his 
face shine upon you, be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Oh, let the peace of God just billow in. Oh, household in turmoil. Oh, household in conflict. I just speak the name of Jesus over you. I release the peace of God over you. Oh, you who need a way of escape. Oh, I just speak the name of Jesus over you. Oh, Lord God, I release your angels to open the door and make a way out, Lord God. Oh, line the pathway with helpers, Lord. Oh, for those who need healing. Oh, for you who are facing a death sentence where your body is just not functioning the way the Lord designed it. Oh, I just speak the name of Jesus over so that diagnosis. I just say it's a path strewn with treasure that's before you. You don't need to be afraid. The Lord bless you and keep you. He'll keep you. Oh, his face will shine upon you. Oh, I pray a blessing on your eyes to see his face shining on you. For those who have had words spoken over you that said you're not worth anything. Oh, I just bless your ears to hear the voice of God. I just pull down the words that got spoken that were not his. You thought they were true, but they're not. Oh, he wants you to hear what a treasure you are. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you. before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with 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 you ah there is 
not one single moment not in our past. There is no aspect of right now and no moment in the future that you are not with us. Thank you for your presence and I pray your help where bad things have happened and people don't understand. How come if you're good and you're there, how could it have been? I, I just I just want to pray into that that you would have your way with that. Washington, love you. Bless you. Bless you. I know you're just so loved. He is for you. 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 Lord God, I just um, seal all that you've done in this hour. I just want to thank you for all the people over three states that are praying for Washington. Uh, probably more by now, but I know that in this exact hour that there are people in three different states praying for the state of Washington. And I thank you, God, that you've got this. You've got this. You're a good God and you've got this. Bless you guys.